Hi, I'm Catherine from Kirishay Park Stud. We had a gypsy cob foal born this morning and I thought I'd save this placenta and do a video of what it looks like um, afterwards and also how it's how it forms when it's inside the mare. So this is one I've just filled up with water, just so it naturally is laid how it should be. What it looks like is just how it is. I always fill them up with water. This one, unfortunately, I've put a hole in here. But it, if you put them, put water in it, you can tell if it's got any holes. I did that myself with my finger. But this one, the horns here are where you normally get a, a hole. All right, there were no holes in this when the foal was born after it came from the mare. It should look this lovely velvety colour here. It's a bit discoloured in that because it's quite a few hours old. It's now six o'clock at night. This was done eight o'clock in the morning or nine o'clock in the morning. When a foal's born, this is the side that's touching the mare. The, when you see a red red bag foal, this is actually always detached before the foal's born. That's why it's an emergency. That's hence the colour red bag. So when the foal's born, this is the mechanics of it. Obviously gravity works opposite to the way I'm going to be doing it. But this is the opening and it should be the only opening in the placenta. So when the foal's born, it comes out in this sack. The foal is inside this, inside of here, which is a lot different to most people when I'm foaling down actually realise because it's not like a human placenta, it is actually covering the entire foal. It's not just next to the the baby inside the sack which is normal in a human foal. So when the mare the foal comes out to this at which is at the cervix, when the foal is born it will actually pull the placenta out of the mare and this is what you see on the ground. This is the side that the foal is against. Thank you for watching.